I'm Tracy with MeetRx. I'm a coach there. And today I'm here with Michael, and he's going to share his success story with us. Hi, Michael. Hi, how are you? Thanks for having me on. Thank you for coming. Uh, it's very nice to meet you. And can you start out by telling our listeners what was life like before you came to a meat-based diet, your health conditions, and what kind of diet you ate? Yeah, I would say um, very much the standard American diet, even though I'm Canadian, I guess to be about the same. Um, I would never really pay attention too much to my like diet and nutrition. I would just kind of eat when I'm hungry and eat whatever was available. Mm -hmm. So um, especially like my line of work where I usually uh, teach private lessons in the afternoon, it's not very conducive to like healthy eating habits because you're just kind of like skipping dinner and your meals are all over the place usually. So uh, I was finding, yeah, I was, I was eating, uh, especially, you know, early in the morning and then a big lunch and then, you know, snacks during work. And then once I get off work, have a big meal again, which would usually be late at night. So, you know, I think all that eating and then just eating the wrong food in general, like a lot of like carbohydrate heavy, not that I would avoid meat, but, um, you know, if I had the burger, I would have the bun and the fries, pasta, all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I wasn't really into like the sweets and the junk food, but, you know, just the carbohydrates, the pizza, you know, fried chicken wings, that sort of thing would be kind of a normal thing on weekends. And of course, uh, beer, I was a big beer drinker. So that didn't uh, help to, uh, you know, my, where, where my health was at sort of in the, especially in the last 10 years, I've, I've seen things kind of go on a decline for myself. Oh, okay. So what were your health conditions then mainly? Um, well, I think the biggest thing was, uh, you know, I just became very overweight, like through my teens and my twenties, I was, you know, probably about this, maybe a little bigger than I am now, but, um, yeah, I, I, um, I think after, especially my kids were born, I found, you know, my eating habits just kind of went out the window even more further. Your metabolism, I guess, slows down. And, um, yeah, so, uh, so that was, sorry, what was the question? Uh, go back again. Just your health conditions. Oh, health know. conditions. Yeah. So I was, uh, probably having a lot of, um, like little things kind of adding up like, um, uh, heartburn that would wake me up in the middle of the night, uh, just low energy. Um, I was probably getting to the point where I was, you know, getting to pre-diabetic stage or some sort of me metabolic, uh, dysfunction because I would just notice, like I'd be mood swings if I was really hungry and uh, you know, a lot of the telltale signs, like big, big gut and all that stuff. Uh, I knew I was probably heading down the wrong path. Wow. Oh, yeah. I understand that. So how did you hear, uh, hear about the carnivore diet? Did, did someone tell you about it or did you hear it on by searching? Yeah. So um I started with uh, just a ketogenic approach. Um, actually, my, my wife at the time, um, after our daughter was born, she was suffering from like gestational diabetes and then, you know, trying to control her blood sugar. And a doctor of hers actually turned us onto this, like kind of like low carb way of eating because the stuff that she was actually recommended um, by, the, by the actual doctors, like what to do if you're diabetic, was actually causing her to have more health issues. So, um, so the last year, yeah, we started cutting out the, uh, you know, the fried foods, the carbohydrates and that sort of stuff. And then, um, just hear, you know, hearing guys like, uh, Jordan Peterson and, um, Sean Baker on, on the, uh, Joe Rogan podcast, you know, really turned me on to this idea of just eating meat because I love meat. And, uh, I thought it was just like, why not give it a try since, you know, the ketogenic thing was working for me, um, just try to eliminate a few more foods and see how I felt. Right. And right. it really worked out. Oh, okay. So can you tell me like, did you have any difficulty transitioning or, you know, what's the, how was keto different than carnivore for you physically? Um, I think the uh, transition from the standard, Amer standard American to like kind of the low carb keto, um, was sort of the hardest. I, I probably was just having like some issues in the bathroom, like, you know, the whole, uh, the usual stuff you hear about, right? right. So your body kind of gets uh, adapted to that way of eating. 
Um, but I didn't find the switch from keto to carnivore very hard at all. Like it just kind of my body, you know, I just felt really good. And, um, you know, it was easy to stick to. I didn't have to worry about making all, all these salads and all this other stuff that, that, you know, I was kind of doing before. I just found it simple and straightforward and easy. Yeah. Awesome. So do you have any other people in your household? Do, are they doing the same or? Uh, my wife, she, uh, she's not as strict as I am, but, uh, she, you know, I do a lot of the cooking, especially with like the meat and the slow cooking and all that stuff. So, mm-hmm. you know, I, uh, I just try to have like meat at every meal and everybody kind of eats it and likes it. My kids, you know, they, they still eat the typical stuff that kids eat, but I'm working on that. Yeah. Awesome. So how did the, how did your conditions change after you came to carnivore? Did they, did they change much from carnivore, from keto to carnivore? Um, I noticed definitely like, I'm not sure if that was exactly why, but like definitely, um, uh, more energy and a uh, huge amount of weight loss, like fat loss, I should say, uh, body composition wise, um, especially like, you know, when I started working out and stuff, you know, just building muscle, I just found it like the easiest I've ever found it in my life to, you know, maintain a good body composition without really even trying that hard. Mm-hmm. Awesome. So, yeah, so- I was just impressed with the results. Yeah. Did you, do you work out very much in a week? Uh, well, during, you know, during the pandemic, I just installed a, you know, a pull-up bar in my garage. So I just been kind of going out there and doing some body weight strength things. Uh, you know, my, my neighbor is, he's a, a gym teacher. So he's been kind of like giving me some exercises to do and stuff like that. But like, I wouldn't say anything like very serious, but I've definitely like increased uh, the amount that I did previous to this, for sure. Oh, good. That's great. Is there anything that surprised you about um, your your physical body that after you had gone carnivore? Does anything surprise you that happened? Well, just the, uh, I guess the most surprising thing would be just like how lean I got in such a short amount of time where, uh, you know, people, people I work with, I sort of just started going back to work since, since uh, March and, you know, people don't even recognize me because I got the mask on and everything. People walk by me, they don't, you know, like, oh, Mike, you know, like takes them a second to kind of like figure it out who I am. So I think that's just, that's been the biggest change for me. But um, I really enjoyed, you know, having, you know, a lot more energy. It's almost like I need a little bit less sleep now so I can kind of get by with, with less waking up early, you have more of your day and less time cooking as well because you're not eating so many meals every day you know you're eating one or two and that's very simple to cook Mm -hmm. so so I just like I got my day back in a way right Mm -hmm. yeah do you do any fasting at all Uh, I do typically um typically I would say 12 to 16 hours a day so um once I have my meal in the evening that's it till about 12 one o'clock the next day Mm-hmm. Then I'll have uh, usually like a, a larger meal for lunch and then that'll sort of get me through till maybe I get off work around 9, 9 p.m., 9.30 p.m. Cool. So I try to stick to that one, one two meal a day approach. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. So what does a day typically look like for you? Do you include dairy? Do you include like um, all ruminant animals or do you eat lamb or... Do you have any uh, pork or eggs or fish, any of that stuff? Um, yeah, usually I eat everything meat-based, so uh, I'm not, you know, too discriminate. Organ meats uh, here and there. I'm not too too big on the taste, but, you know, I'm trying to kind of work it in a little bit more. Uh, but usually my meals during the day would be like bacon or pork belly, eggs, um, ground beef, or some sort of hamburger patty, and then... Um, Usually when I get home, I'll, I'll cook up a big steak. And if I can't finish that, I'll have it, you know, I can heat it up in the morning or, or for my next meal. Awesome. So, well, yeah. You look really great. So oh, thank you. You're welcome. So what if someone was very overweight or, or had other conditions and they were thinking about doing a carnivore diet, what would be your suggestion to them to encourage them? Uh, well, you know, 
mainly, you know, if people see me and they ask, oh, what did you do? Like, how did you lose all that weight? You know, I, I just tell them, like, your first step is usually, like, just eliminate sugar and, you know, the seed oil stuff, right? Like, that's usually the first thing I say, because I think if you come out and just say, ah, I just eat meat, just, you know, for most people, like, you know, it's kind of foreign to them or kind of scares them off. So I just usually like, okay, just like one step at a time, you know, eliminate all, all the bad stuff you can. And then, um, you know, increase that protein, like just make sure that protein is your, um, your center of your, your meal, right? So whether it be steak or ground beef or pork or whatever, just eat as much protein till you're full. Cause that's usually what I do. I don't, you know, sit there and count calories or weigh my food or anything. And, uh, you know, just see how you feel with that. You know, if you feel like you don't need to eat the salad all the time, you know, you can start to eliminate that. But I find people are receptive to usually to that message. Yes, that sounds good. Very good. So are you, you've been a carnivore for about a year now. Is that correct? Yeah. So about a year. Okay. So do you think you'll continue on doing carnivore? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think so. Because uh, honestly, I find it so easy and delicious because, you know, I love meat and, I, you know, I think the more I do it, the more I like it. You know what I mean? So before I would rarely eat steak. Now it's like all I crave. It's almost like people crave ice cream. I just crave a huge steak sometimes at the end of the day. So I think it's definitely uh, something I'm going to stick to. And, you know, it's just encouraging when you see results and you just feel really good. It's just kind of like, why go back? Right. Awesome. <laughs> One thing I notice when I do these interviews is how, so how positive and happy and glowing carnivores are and you're you're no exception you're definitely glowing and very happy and you look great thank you yeah i definitely like a uh, mood is a big mood is a big thing that's improved too as well right so i find like when i was before i was always fluctuating depending on how hungry i was or what part of the day it was uh now i just feel very even throughout the day so you know you don't have those big ups and downs and just the whole mental clarity has really helped with yeah. like overall life balance. Yes, I, I totally agree. So, I mean, everything balances your hormones, your everything, and your mental state. I just love that. It really makes a difference. And it's sure. maybe unbelievable to some people, but for us, we, we know it's true. And that's why we love to share these uh, stories with people so they understand that people from all walks of life are benefiting so much from the carnivore diet. Definitely. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Mike, for coming and sharing your story. I really appreciate it. And um, I'll be seeing you around the carnivore community. Okay, great. Thanks for having me again. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye.